What is a unspoken, universal rule all males know? When you become a father all your sneezes must be loud and violent. Always cup your hands in the shower and let it go once it fills up. On a road trip with our families, whenever there are cows, we must point out that there are cows. If the remote control stops working, either slap it on your leg or open the back and roll the batteries a few times. You must test click tongs before barbecuing. If there is bad weather brewing outside you must stand on the porch and say something along the lines of well, the rain's coming I can feel it. Unless you feel genuinely threatened, never purposefully hit a man in the balls. Thanks, I'm getting massive PTSD from flashbacks of junior high PE now. Zippers are not your friend. Use them slowly and carefully, or you will regret every decision that brought you to this place in life. If you're bald and I'm bald. We're automatically bald brothers. How do y'all know each other same barber? The guy in the garage with the door open is the bat signal for fellow men to come over. 100% if you live in a small town, this will bring all the guys over to inspect your car and or help you fix it. Really nice dudes helped me fix some of the dashboard lights and do an oil change. That reminds me, I was 14 and on my way to school. Something on my bike broke, the brake, if I recall correctly. This guy came out of his house and had it fixed for me in no time at all. I love the world sometimes. When leaving you must smack your pockets to make sure everything is there. Triple pat. Phone, keys, wallet. Not taking the last beer when you didn't pay for it. My beer is your beer, unless it's my last one. Some tools require testing before use. Examples include, click click tongs, squeeze the trigger of a power drill a couple times, spin the socket of a ratchet wrench to make sure it's going the right way. Stud finder. Always gotta check on yourself to make sure it works. When she tells you she's not hungry for whatever you're ordering, order more cuz she'll defiantly be eating your stuff. After communication with my wife, I have come to the conclusion that the estimate is based on current hunger. It does not take into account, future hunger. Do with that information as you will. Edit, get more fries for the team. Future hunger might increase by 20 to 40 points based on smell. 60 points if fries are involved. If a man is with his young kids, you do not get to fuck with that man. You just wait until next time or whatever you have to but no, not today cause dude is with his little ones. PHX for the silver. PHX for the awards all. Are people just out here looking for childless men to fuck with? Depends on how horny you are. Roast your bro when he's happy, comfort him when he looks depressed. The book How to Write Funny says that the purpose of humor is to comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. Always clean the sides of the toilet bowl with your ruined stream. If it sparkles when you're done, you win. Edit, was going to fix ruin to urine but I kind like calling it my ruined stream. Kinda makes the concept of marking your territory take on a whole new dimension of badass. You never tell another man he is losing his hair. He just has to find out himself or from a brutally honest child. Any object carried by another male is immediately assessed for its weapon capacity. Ocular pat-down. Any object in a given space is immediately addressed for its weapon capacity. When a friend asks for help, you help them. And your best bro's good woman is an extension of your best bro. Story time. My best bro left for work early AF in the AM. 12 hours shift at a hospital. His girl left the apartment a few hours later for her 12 hours shift. This was my day off. Sleeping late. I hear her leave then legit 5 minutes later my phone goes off. It's her. Crying. She hit a curb around the corner and the tire is blown. She has to get to work. She's a nurse too. Without thought, I get up, hop in the car and go see about her. Her car is fucked. 
Grab everything you need for work. Let's go. I race her to the hospital and she makes it in on time. I have her keys. I head back to her car, swap the spare on, take wheel and blown tire to the tire shop and have a new tire put on. Go back to her car, swap spare off for the new tire. Call my, now ex, girlfriend to come follow me to the hospital so I can drop her car off and leave her keys under the floor mat. She has her car now when she gets off late that night. She's his wife now. Anything I'd do for my best friend, I'd do for her too. Edit, holy shit. I've never had this many upvotes. Thank you all for the kind words. I love my best friend. I just did what needed to be done in the moment. All the awards and golden comments, just wow. There is another story of me saving his nursing career before it even got started a couple years before this story took place. Fun times. We have each other's back. A real friend right here. It broke my heart the time that my bud thought I was trying to swoop his girl because I was being a homie to her. She was great but thought never crossed my mind. To be honest, I was probably just so relaxed around her because she was not an opportunity. As out of the question as my plans to visit Mars. I was just trying to help her as an extension of my bud. I wasn't invited to their wedding because he thought I was trying something. Not even close Nate, not even close. Yup. My husband's best friend rode with me four hours away because he wrecked a quad and it needed a new frame. I found one like a week after he had surgery. He couldn't make the four-hour trip but his best bud said he'd go with me. I was meeting two guys in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. He also changed the oil in my car that week because husband couldn't. Well he died in 18 and it just devastated both of us but I can't imagine losing my bestie. R.I.P. K.J.G. Miss you bud. Never turn your homie into a clown, just to make a girl laugh that just sucks. Edit, finally. My wise words came to the light. I turn into a clown for my homie. Gotta make them look better. Lot of dudes don't know this one. The WIDE step. Y'all know. For those extra humid days. Sometimes the testicle don't want to unstick to the thigh so you gotta play it off like you're doing a lunge just to stretch. It's like pulling a fruit roll-up off of the plastic. I couldn't have said it any other way. My lady cracks up when I'm walking ahead and give the old wide step and mid-step shake. The only way to cure a bad case of NSTL. Taking more than one trip to bring in the groceries is a shameful display. You must let out a sigh of satisfaction when sitting down on a lawn chair. And there must be someone near to ask you to do something the moment you are done with your sigh. FFS, are you looking through my windows? One shall slap the bag of soil in the garden center when passing by. I pretty much do this to any bagged product. Dog food, landscaping rock, no bagged product is safe. Sometimes I get mixed up when I do this and accidentally say that ain't going nowhere. The pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. Only the driver can modify anything on the dashboard from the car. Unless that driver has verbally designated the co-pilot to certain duties. Nod down to guys you don't know, not up to friends. One time I was sleep deprived and grocery shopping. Eyes randomly locked with some dude I didn't know as I was scanning for open registers, he was just hanging out in line, and for some reason my brain wires got crossed and we guy nodded but I accidentally nodded up instead of down, and I looked away but he did a double take. It was a disaster. He spent the next few minutes looking back and squinting at me trying to understand why he didn't recognize me and clearly trying to decide if he should say something. That was 8 years ago and I still haven't recovered from the experience. The fuck man you probably messed that guy up more than the I like bananas guy. Polite nod down is also done for sign of respect or as a thanks in countries where you don't kinda want to socialize too much. You have to rip off icicles from roofs and throw big rocks in lakes when given the opportunity edit. Don't spend real money to donate fake awards for my generic comment what the fuck are y'all stupid? I like to rip the biggest icicle off, and then use it to knock down the other ones like a Jedi Master on Hoth. When you reach a certain age, you must groan when either sitting or standing up even if there is absolutely no pain whatsoever. It's automatic.
Lol, I'm a painter and started doing it in my early 30s. A customer once asked if I was alright, I laughed because I really didn't know what to say. My grandfather had a mug that said, everything hurts and what doesn't hurt doesn't work. As I've gotten older I've come to realize that wasn't a joke it was a warning. I started in my early 20s. 19 lol. It's so strange. It just comes out. Brain, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Me, you are a rark. I'm 25 and my girlfriend asked me why I always make old man noises whenever I stand up or sit down. I legitimately didn't know what to tell her. They just started coming out, naturally at some point. I try to stop myself but it's almost like an involuntary reflex at this point. That's what I call them, old man noises. A stud detector will not work if you don't first point it at yourself to find the biggest stud around. That's just calibration, or at least that's what I tell my family. For some reason when there's a single bathroom and one of us tries the handle to find it occupied. The guy leaving always feels it's necessary to ceremonially hand control over to the new guy. Me included. Hey, man. It's all yours. I always use she's all warmed up for you, bud. To mixed result. You must stand by your bro while he's grilling, and make comments about the level of awesome it's going to be. I did this Sunday night. Literally for an hour and a half nothing but damn that smells good and this shit's gonna be fire it was pretty good. I ate one plate. Dude you're supposed to eat the food. Rookie mistake. Splendiferous grill lines, my man. Most bodacious char, my dude. That chicken is downright buxom, my boy. Don't look at another man's dick when you're pissing if you accidentally see it then it's whatever but if you get caught looking at it intentionally then you wrong bro this has nothing to do with homophobia either, it's about privacy and respecting boundaries, even gay men aren't trying to just show their dick to everyone in the bathroom. Keep your eyes on the road. Eyes on the road, not on the code. When at a bar or restaurant and a buddy shows up, you must say some form of I guess they'll let anyone in here. Edit, won my first ever award, thank you. Ask the bartender, this guy bothering you? I wouldn't serve that guy if I were you. Hey, they finally let you out of jail. Don't point out the flaws on someone else's car. Yes, I'm totally goddamn aware my 52-year-old project car needs a paint job. This goes for everything, car, house, whatever, I don't need you to point out that it could be better slash different. Borrow a car, bring it back with more gas than you started with. I know some guys that don't know this rule. I notice you said guys, not friends. Good call. We must feel the pain of our fellow men who we see being hit in the balls. You cannot call shotgun in a friend's car if he is his girlfriend slash wife in the group. OMFG my husband's friend and I are so competitive with this he shoves me into the sides of other cars to slow me down. That's hopefully the sign of you two also being good friends and it's a game. Or you're married to Turk or JD. You can't really be married to Turk or JD. You can only be a side piece. They will never love you as much as they love each other. I think that in the finale, JD told Carla that Turk loved him about as much as her. That might be the greatest reassurance Carla ever hears. Never actively thought about it, but it's true. Protect your junk at all costs. There's a reason why cowboys wear jeans in the desert. To be stylish OFC. Yay to protect against insects and animal bites, ticks, sticks, kicked up rubble, rocks, cactuses, etc. When watching TV slash hanging by the fire slash etc. With the guys, if you get up to get a beer, always consult the room if anyone else requires a beverage before leaving. You can shake and you can dance but the last drops always end up in your pants. 
You can take a minute to milk her but then you risk someone walking in and you becoming the guy rubbing it out at the urinal. If you with your homie and his crush rolls up you aren't the funny one. Most dudes either don't care about this one or just don't know it. Needs more recognition. Not many guys tell their friends about their crushes. My two best friends do tell me about their crushes and I follow this rule like it's the law, giving easy opening for them to score with a joke. If they leave an opening, don't take the shot. It's not worth it and you're doing your friend a disservice. Optional, laugh a bit harder than you usually would when they make a joke. I have a friend who is an absolute master of this. He has noticed that I was into a sheet before I even noticed it, and was already laying some groundwork for me. I'm 32 now and it's been that way ever since early on in high school. I try to do this, too. But I'm not as observant as I like to think I am. So sometimes I'm the funny one until I'm told they're crushing on them or until I notice it. When you stand up to leave, make sure to do the pocket check. Phone, keys, wallet. A quick slap of the knees and say right, UK. Up here in western Canada it's Vailp. Down here in the most southern part of Canada, Minnesota, it's an alrighty then. Always bring the groceries into the house in one trip. There are no exceptions. Mama didn't raise no two-trip bitch. Not a man, but I agree. We are a one-trip household. 50 bags apiece? Can't feel your fingers? Have to lift 100 pound just to open the door. That is the way. When there's a choice between urinals, use the one that minimizes the chances of neighboring another occupied urinal. I had an old man walk up to the urinal next to me, when all of the other urinals were available, and tell me don't worry, I won't piss on you. Before unleashing the most aggressive piss I've ever heard in my life. I still think about it sometimes. He was totally going to piss on you if you seemed interested. Or just let your guard down. Poor manners, but absolute gigachot energy. There's an inverse relationship between the two that seems to shift with age. My grandfather is in his 80s and will just find any open patch of grass. He does not give a fuck. If a hood on a car is open, you must stand in a circle around it. Similar to grills at an event. Whenever I had car issues, I'd always pop open the hood and walk over to inspect it. First thing I'd do was look to see if my engine was still there. If in fact my engine was still there, I'd look around, puzzled as to what else could be causing issues to my car. After about 5 minutes of jiggling random things then checking to see if my car was back to normal, I'd go on to my next step which was to call my mechanic and pay him lots of monies to fix my car. But never before first opening up my hood to inspect it for any missing engines. No dude. After you jiggle each thing, you have to try to start it again. Cause you never know. And before you call that mechanic. Have your buds come over and jiggle shit too. One of you will eventually jiggle it back into start mode never underestimate the power of a good jiggle. Have you tried turning it off and then on again? Do I look like a mechanic? It's easy. Just check for air, spark, and fuel, and remember the strokes of a four-cycle engine. Suck squeeze bang blow. Be warned. I work on computers, not cars, and my biggest accomplishment on a roadside repair was to swap an alternator out on a Ford Taurus so that my brother could get the rest of the way home. Make sure to look this up on the right sites. Or don't, I don't know if you have a free 20 mins. You severely underestimate my, uh, efficiency. Yes. I was at a meet over the weekend, and someone with the same car as me had a couple of questions. They lifted the hood and within 30 seconds a crowd of men had gathered around. Never mind the car was mostly stock under there, everyone had to gather. Don't lose your temper or raise your voice unless you absolutely have to. Always try to stay cool. If you do lose it, make sure it counts and you make a big enough noise to ensure your points are clearly understood. Whenever your wife slash husband tries to buy something you could make but never will, always tell her slash him to not buy it because you can make that same thing at home way cheaper. Ah, the old why buy this when I can make it half as good for twice the price in materials. And have it finished sometime next year, if at all. 
If anything is floating in the toilet when you pee it instantly becomes a target. Unless there is a shit stain on the side of the bowl which takes priority. Toilet art needs to be erased. The piss chisel is just the tool you need. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button for more content. I post every day and I'll see you next time with more stories.